so i don't know how well i'll be at this whole vlogging thing but we're just gonna give it a go because you guys wanted to pack with me on my trip to new york so i figured i just went shopping and i should show you what i got <laughs> even though i shouldn't have gone shopping it is what it is it's too late now to return it right right and i can't go to new york not looking cute right right so i'm gonna show you my outfit real quick sorry i don't know how to switch it over like um like switch the camera around when I'm recording. Like I don't know if it's that bad, but I don't want to press that myself. So anyways, point is, peep the fit. Cute, cute, right? Something light, something light. So tell me how I got this purse from Victoria's Secret the other day in the Millennium Mall for $16. Steal and peep the Odell Beckham Jr. sneaks. Fire. All right, so I'm gonna get myself situated really fast and then I will show you what I bought. Okay, so I know this looks like a hot mess, but it's just to show you guys what I got. Everything I'm going to show you on once I put the outfits together and decide what I'm wearing to New York. But, um, so it's kind of like a haul slash pack with me all in one. But I ended up getting just like, um, a set of the high top Nike socks. These are the joggers or like the sweatpants that I plan on cutting, um, into like sweat shorts, kind of like this length to wear with that cute little yellow bralette and then I just got this sports bra because it was super cute and really simple and obviously like I go to the gym 24 7 so I could use it at the gym but it'd be cute too to kind of wear it with like a sporty look out and about I ended up getting this little skirt because I figured let me not be such a boy the whole trip and you know maybe look a little girly at some point got these adorable freaking leather shorts and I really really hope that they actually look good on the butt because I couldn't try anything on because of COVID um and then I got these athletic shorts that they're under armor. They're super soft and comfy, a really pretty blue color. So I felt like this would be like such a cute fit if I wore it with like a bandeau top and then threw on some of the high top Nike socks with some Air Force Ones. Because I think you can mix under armor and Nike. You just can't do like Adidas and Nike. But you know, you can mix like the smaller sports brands with the bigger brands, just not the two big brands. You know, you feel me? If not, I'm doing it anyways. I got some more biker shorts. These are like more of, I don't know what material. I think they're like nylon or something. Um, but the idea is to, okay, there's spandex and polyester way off, but this is like, it kind of looks like a, not like a regular cotton material. So I think it'll look really well with that, um, oversized t-shirt if I decide to wear it with that. And then I got this super cute tie dye shirt. It's so soft. This is the back actually it just says babe club. And then the front just has like a little flower. And then lastly, I got this cute freaking Calvin Klein shirt or scarf. Um, you can see like the little emblem or like symbol. And so I got it. It's a scarf, but I'm going to tie it and wear it as a shirt with some cute shorts. I'm going to show you the whole fit. It's going to be popping. But all right, that is what I got. Let's see what I actually pack. Okay, so I'm thinking this is the fit. So I've got the cute little shorts. <laughs> They're so comfy and so soft. Um, and then I've got my Air Force Ones with the high socks. I put on this little turtleneck crop tee. It's actually like my undergarment for my cheer team when I was in high school. <laughs> Funny. It's so hot. Oh my god, and I can't breathe. This might be a no-go only because I'm going to be dying in the heat outside. But peep the sunglasses. Told you they made me look like a puppy. So I'm debating on if I'll wear this shirt or not. But like the fit all together I think looks really cute. So it's like definitely a vibe. <laughs> But like for a sporty day so like if we go bike riding or something but honestly i'm gonna die in this top so i might just switch it out for like a white tube top but we'll see all right so part of me is thinking maybe i should have gotten this in a smaller size because it really is too long like it's not long enough to be a dress but it's too long to be like the shirt idea Unless maybe I pull these up a little bit. Look, obviously I'll do a better job at this when I actually wear it. But like if it was maybe cinched a little, I don't know. We're going to work with it, but I mean, it's still like super sporty and cute. And the pants are comfy. Like They look good. Minus me scrunching them all the way up. So here is the scarf as a top. I can't decide like what bottoms to wear with it just cause I really wanna wear like denim, but I don't have the right shorts or jeans. So 
we're just gonna have to see but drop down in the comments below and let me know what you think if i should wear it if i shouldn't just tie it it's not like i'll have to retie it in the back <gasps> Okay, I'll have to retie it in the back, but it looks cute with my tattoo. Let me know if you think I should wear it and what I should wear it with, bottoms wise. Okay, so obviously ignore my hair, ignore my face. I'm not together, but what do we think about this one? A little cute crossbody and then cute little sunnies. And then obviously the fit, the little cow neck top, little leather skirt action, and jean jacket to make it a little more casual. Is this New York worthy? All right, so another option for an outfit, cute little oversized graphic tee, crossbody bag, little biker shorts, and Air Forces with the high socks. In the back of the shirt is cute. Babe gang, babe club something. I don't know. Cute. But another outfit. Oops. So I was just out and about grabbing a couple last minute items. I got my nails done and ready for the trip. These are my natural nails, guys. Look how long they are. They're growing. Um, I was trying to get my eyebrows done which I actually ended up not having time and I'm actually low-key kind of mad because they don't look bad but I just like when they look darker so let's hope I can end up filling them in properly on my trip um I picked up a couple things from forever 21 and then I'm on my way home now to go actually put all of my clothes in the suitcase so we'll be back so this is one of my nighttime going out outfits we are going to like a cute little rooftop bar so i figured this would be fitting got some cute little white heels my toes are white and then some white high-waisted jeans with my little cropped black tank little teal blazer cute little crossbody my sunnies of course if we're going at night i'm not going to be wearing my sunglasses but just to give the entire overall fit like a tie it together but yeah okay so bathing suit for jet skiing on the hudson river i am not turning around <laughs> because these pants are obviously see-through but just a little one piece um, I'll probably wear these to the place, but then maybe throw on some like, like athletic shorts while I'm riding the jet ski because honestly, I will slide everywhere if I don't wear some type of pants, but that's the suit. So this looks 10 times less crazy than it was literally 20 minutes ago. I figured, you know, let me make it a little bit presentable before I go recording. But then I was like, honestly, that defeats the purpose of showing you how I pack. I am the worst. Like when it comes to packing and planning for a trip, I will try on 17,000 things, throw them all over my bed until I figure out the outfits. And then obviously it looks more put together. But this is like cleaned up. There's more of it over there and we're not even going to get into it. But point is. I figured out my outfits for the trip. So everything on the right side is for daytime and everything on the left side is for my nighttime fits. Um, I kind of just paired like little accessories and shoes with certain outfits. So, like I have my sunnies for that outfit. I have heels in the back. I have a little crossbody bag back there and another one here. I have some earrings, a little gold chain. I have my Yankees hat. So like all throughout the outfits have their matching counterpartner, pants, top, accessory, whatever. Um, I just have to pack obviously like, you know, the basics and PJs, bra, stuff like that. And then I have to do my toiletries. So I'm going to work on getting all of that organized and put into my suitcase. And then we'll move on to the toiletries and things like that. Okay, so right now I'm just packing my toiletries. So I have like a backpack that I keep in my car with everything in case, you know, I ever decide one night to crash to friends. Um, so it's kind of already like, I already have like my shampoo and conditioner and stuff. 
Um, I'm going to put them in little Ziploc baggies. That way they don't end up, if they spill, they spill inside of here and not in my actual little cosmetics bag. And then it lasts longer. Um, so I'm gonna put my shampoo, my conditioner, and my body wash all in one. I'm also going to be bringing my face wash. I'm not bringing my homemade soap, the teacher oil one. I'm just bringing the CeraVe little travel size one. This is the, the soap I use in the morning anyway. So, And then I'm gonna bring my little toner spray and I'm gonna bring my Curology. Some might not be able to close. Maybe I should do it off, so I think this works for now. Um, I typically use a, there's another product I use actually at nighttime on my skin, but I'm not going to be bringing it just for the sake of the trip um, for having to have like travel size because it's literally huge. So it's not going to fit in travel size. Um, and then I have my little Q-tips. I have lotion. I have makeup remover. So I'm going to grab the rest of the stuff that I need, show you what I'm grabbing and throw it in as well. Okay, so I went ahead and got my razor with the new head and put it in a little Ziploc baggie in there toothpaste and little flossers. I've got my lotion, makeup remover, and a mini hairspray bottle as well. I have my Q-tips and I have my travel toothbrush. So typically I actually put my toothbrush and a tube of toothpaste in my carry-on, which is what I'm going to do because I'm a weirdo and I like brushing my teeth like 17,000 times a day. So if I eat something at the airport and I feel like brushing my teeth, it's in my carry-on, I'm good to go. So all of this stuff is gonna go in here. Oh, in my contact case. And then I just need um, my contact solution, which I think is in my car. So I have to put that in there as well. And then I'm just gonna drop this inside of here. So these two little, ones I'm gonna go fill with my makeup and then some other like you know hair ties and stuff like that I'm gonna throw in my shower cap just in case there's some night I don't want to get my hair wet and then I need to pack can I bring something this big no right it has to be like how many ounces maybe I should pick some up okay all right off to my room all right so now I'm just gonna pack all of my makeup, my foundation. My concealer. Like I'll bring spongy bronzer. Highlight should be my face stuff. And then I'll take me in the car. What am I looking for? Eyebrows. All right, so I have all of like my face makeup in one. I have like mascara, lip colors and stuff in another. I'm gonna go grab another baggie to put the brushes. Actually, I feel like I could just put those in. I feel like they're not gonna fit in a Ziploc. Well, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put these in a Ziploc baggie and then contemplate a eyeshadow palette. Probably bring my falsies too. Okay, so I packed everything, little Ziploc baggies. I have my face makeup. I have mascara and some lip colors. I have some, oi, some brushes. Maybe this should not go in there. My falsies and a sharpener for the lip color. I might need to put this separate. Here. 
And I usually keep eye drops in my um, carry-on, chapstick in my carry-on, um, and some lipstick, or lip gloss, even though I put lip gloss in here. Almost forgot my little, that's fine. Perfume. And I should be good. Okay, so this is my suitcase. It is actually not even stuffed, which I'm so surprised right now, but we'll see if I end up adding more. Everything is in here that I need. I have all of my nighttime outfits. I have my daytime outfits, and then I have like a couple extras that I threw in here and my bathing suit cover up. I have my PJs. I have a pair of heels under there. I have my Air Force Ones, a pair of sandals. This is all of my cosmetic stuff, my toiletries. I ended up putting the entire little case in a Walmart bag just to make sure it's extra safe, doesn't leak. Um, there's a curling iron here. Um, a little zipper pocket here on the side where I put my fanny pack and I ended up putting another little crossbody bag. And then over here on this side, I have all of my socks, my underwear, my bathing suits. Well, ladies, little booby covers have all of my bras and then here I just put um, like a little headband, the purse and then all of the jewelry in a little baggie and a little box. So that's all inside of there. Everything's organized exactly how I want it. You can close it and I still have so much room which is so surprising. Usually my suitcase is stuffed so I still have to put together my carry-on bag um, and little things here and there like my iPad, my GoPro, whatever I'm deciding to bring, but I actually have to hit the gym. So we're gonna go to the gym and I'll catch you later. All right, suitcase is packed. I also packed my MCM backpack for like my little personal item or carry-on. So I just have my chapstick and my face mask in the front cause you know the new protocols. A hair tie, I have a lip plumping lip gloss and then gum hunty cause Lord knows your ears be popping. And then I just have in the big pocket, I packed two books. I packed a little notebook that I could take notes in. Um, I have my sunglasses. I have my actual like glasses to see. I have my wallet and then I put my iPad in there. I also have, you guys can barely see. Um, I also have in the very back, I put like my phone charger. I put a pen. I have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. So that is the um, carry-on bag. So I'm finally done packing. That felt like forever. It is literally 12.17 and I have to be at the airport by 5.45. So this will be fun. I still have to shower and everything too. So I'm going to go do that and then try to get some sleep. But comment down below. Let me know, let me know what you guys thought about my outfits. Um, I actually ended up not doing the scarf outfit just because I really couldn't find like the perfect piece to put with it. So we're going to see about that for another trip. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be arriving in New York tomorrow around like 1030, I think. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. Um, but this trip is kind of like... I don't know i've been to new york before so it's not like everything's so touristy i'm still gonna try to vlog as much as i can so we'll see if i can make a video out of it when i come back but i do plan on bringing some new ideas to my page because i just have a couple of them written down on a paper moral of the story is this video is done hope you guys enjoyed it make sure that you like it you comment down below you subscribe if you haven't already share this video um, and stay tuned on Instagram because I'll obviously be taking more polls as to what video comes out next. But until next time, stay hustling and stay humble.